Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Tomorrow is Christmas. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> are you doing anything fun with your family? Are you just going to hang out in your pajamas? Are you just going to watch Christmas movies all day? What are you guys going to do tomorrow? Or do you not even celebrate Christmas? I don't know. Uh, tomorrow, I well, since I live by myself and I'm trying to be safe, I'm going to hang out at home with my kitty cats. I'm going to make myself some potato soup. And I'm excited to have potato soup because it's one of my favorites. And I'm going to veg out on the couch, drink some hot cocoa or some coffee, and watch Christmas movies all day. I haven't had a chance to watch a lot of Christmas movies this season. I've watched a handful. But I really want to dive in and watch some of the movies I haven't watched yet. So that's what I'll be doing. Like some of the classics like It's a Wonderful Life and White Christmas and uh, Home Alone 1 and 2 and National Lampoons. <laughs> I could go on and on and on. But anyway, that's what I'm planning to do tomorrow. But uh, that said, I am not planning to upload a video on Christmas Day. I'm going to give myself a day's break because getting these videos up is a lot of work and I want to, you know, have a day off for me to kind of recuperate. However, I've decided to continue Vlogmas or Emmas until the rest of the year, so I will have some more videos up after Christmas, so stay tuned because I'll continue the giveaways. I have a lot of cool stuff I have yet to give away, so yes. Um, speaking of which, I do have a giveaway for the end of this video, so stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I've just been babbling on here. If you're new here, welcome. Hi. <laughs> My name is Em and you're watching Makeup Free. If you are new here, thanks so much for joining and for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm sure you have other things that you could be doing, so I appreciate you being here. If you like what you see and you want to come back and hang out again in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button and uh, give that little notification bell a jingle, and that way you get notified of any future uploads. Anyway, let's get to it. In today's video, uh, I'm sure the title can pretty clearly tell you what's going on, but if not... Uh, I like to do randomized makeup and in the spirit of Christmas I thought I would continue on with that Christmas theme. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out my randomized makeup look using inspiration from a Christmas movie. This one will be similar, but it's a Christmas song that will be inspiring my makeup. So that will be interesting and there are a lot of Christmas songs, so I had fun putting together this list. On my list there are 54 Christmas songs. Yeah, that's a lot. Yes, so there's 54. Let's click generate. Let's see, what did I get? I got 15. So what is 15 on my list? 15 is sleigh ride. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. We'll be singing the songs we love to sing without a single stop. At the fireplace we will watch the chestnuts pop. Pop, pop, pop. Actually, I did buy some chestnuts the other day, so I'm excited. They're not going to be in the fireplace, but... <laughs> they will pop, pop, pop in my oven and I'm excited and <laughs> be a dork. Uh, anyway, so that's the song. I wanted to give a little bit of tidbits on the song because I'm on Wikipedia and I thought it was interesting, so I thought I would share that with you too. So apparently, the very first version of the song was recorded in 1949, and it's just an orchestral version. There's no lyrics. I didn't realize that. I thought that was a recreation of this of it, but apparently that's the original, so that's really cool. That was recorded by Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra. It looks like Johnny Mathis might have been the first one to come out with this song in 1958. So it is a classic, and it's been redone so many times by like Tamar Braxton and Amy Grant. The Ronettes, I believe, did it. So then in 1963, the Ronettes did a version of it. So the Ronettes were also pretty popular for like, Be my, be my, be my little baby. You know that song? I am so out of key. My throat's a little scratchy because I just woke up, so... 
<laughs> I wanted to get up early enough for me to be able to do this video and edit it in time. So if you're a musical buff, this is really cool. So Sleigh Ride is in seven part rondo form. Uh, the first rondo episode utilizes an unusual unprepared modulation to the median than the supertonic. So because of the difficulty in singing that, many of the recorded versions actually have altered harmonies or omit that section and the Renettes actually don't sing that. What that basically means is that there's like different verses, um, different verse phases I guess. That one has quite a few as is so I don't remember how many the Renettes go through but apparently it's seven long which is really long. <laughs> That's basically what it means, which is interesting. So the very first Rondo episode, so the very first verse, um, has an unusual unprepared modulation to the median, which means in a scale, so the soulfish scale, do, re, mi, that's the median. So the median is the third degree of the diatonic scale, which usually is do, re, mi. The very first Rondo has a, some sort of uh, deviant deviation from that and then um, it also says here that the supertonic is also different and the supertonic is the second one so do re so re and me are different I don't know what those differences are but apparently the rest of the songs fine it's just that very first one which is really weird and that would mess someone up because if you're used to singing do re me major and then all of a sudden you change it to I don't know um, you can sing it in a minor or you can sing it in a diminished which means both of those notes will be flat I don't know it's, it's just an interesting thing I've, I don't know I guess I'll have to listen for that in the very first <laughs> in the very first recording in the orchestral version of it I guess but yeah I can imagine vocally that would be really hard to sing because you have to like purposely think about it not La la la, especially in a major scale. Anyway, I'm kind of dorking out about this. So there have been other versions of the song that don't even allude to Christmas. It's a birthday party in many versions. Um, that way you can still listen to it in January or February if you want it. There's a birthday party at the home of Farmer Gray. Or there's a Christmas party at the home of Farmer Gray. And I'm so out of keys. All right, let's get into the makeup stuff. You're not here for music theory. So I think for Sleigh Ride, I wanna do something like that. Hi, Sandy, or hi, Butters. <laughs> I wanna do something that builds off of the rosy cheeks, like you're outside in the cold, um, you're happy, so joyful makeup. So I definitely am gonna play up that blush look today, which would be totally on trend for 2020. I think I'll do a little bit of highlighter because, you know, the sun reflecting off my face would be a fun thing. And now there's an airplane. And a fire truck. <laughs> so much for this room being quieter. For the eye makeup, let's see. I think I'm just gonna go dig and see what I find. I've already done a couple of icy kind of cooler makeup looks for Emmys. So I don't know that I want to do another like cool toned or icy toned makeup look. So I'm going to play, I'm going to go grab a couple things and see what I come up with and uh, we'll get into it. So it'll only be a second for you, but it'll be a couple minutes for me. I decided I'm going to pull out one of my new palettes. This is the Juvia's Place Taupes palette. I played swatchy swatchy with this last night. This is what it looks like. So it's a cooler toned brown based palette. But I think I'm going to play with this because, you know, it'll work with my purple sweater, my lilac colored sweater. But there's some sparkle in here that I can play with really well. And I can focus on cheeks being really rosy. And I have a really nice pink blush for that. Along with a fun highlighter. The highlighter itself I think is going to be kind of fun. Now it looks kind of like a pink color, but this has a purple shift to it, like a lilac shift. This is a limited edition highlighter from Becca that I just recently picked up and I kind of want to play with it. So I'm going to start off with the brows and then I'm going to apply primer and then I'll be back in a second. It's amazing how your face changes when you have brows on. And for me, I like a thicker brow. I remember back in the early 2000s when they weren't a thing and how thin I tried to make them and I'm glad that most of my hairs grew back. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. I'm gonna do a wash of color in the crease. And by color, I just mean grayish taupe shade. I'm gonna use a larger fluffy brush for this. It's gonna be a little messy, but 
whatever. And then building this up to have it be a little bit more intense. About that first rondo it's just weird to me that they would purposely change that up and then have the rest of the song be what you would call normal or at least a typical major I don't know that just kind of threw me off I'm intrigued so I'm gonna pull that up later and listen to it I would do it here but I don't want to get copyright stricken that would be a bummer not that I can monetize right now but you know Still, maybe one day I will be able to monetize. Not that I'll expect this video to get a lot of views in the future, but you never know. <laughs> I just learned you never know anymore. Okay, I'm liking how that looks. Just soft and subtle. So this palette is really interesting. It's got cooler tones kind of here, and then it's got some warmer tones, which I'm enjoying. I'm not going to do any warm tones. I think I'm going to go back in with that same kind of gray color and just kind of do a really light wash across the lid not as deep as I went in the crease but just enough to cover the eyelids the reason for this is because I have a different shadow in here and I know that it's not super opaque so I want there to be a little bit of base color underneath just so I don't have bare lids underneath so the shade I'm gonna go with next is fun it looks kind of basic but it's anything but basic. Look at that shine. It's silver, but it's got a little bit of a purple reflex. Now you see why I chose the highlighter I did, didn't, don't you? Because it's got a little bit of purple reflex in it. This is such a pretty formula too. It's glittery, but not your typical, you know, messy glitter. that sparkle out of the crease there that's really pretty I'm gonna be super basic super simple with this I'm gonna go ahead and do black eyeliner and mascara decided to do a little bit more of an extended wing so for the spirit of the song sleigh ride I imagine it being pulled by horses so I'm gonna call it a tail <laughs> a horse's tail on the eyes okay that sounds really weird that definitely sounds really weird doesn't it okay but I do like this kind of extended wing I feel like it, I look a little bit more flirty with this look and I imagine sleigh rides back in the 1800s being the time when bows and their like lady friends would go for sleigh rides together. I imagine like in um, Little House in the Prairie, the, that series, they used to go on sleigh rides together. Laura and Almanzo used to go on sleigh rides. He would go pick her up at school so she could go home on the weekends, especially in the winter months, and see her family when she was a teacher. So I imagine something like that from the 1800s with that song. And I think that was the whole thought behind it. I'm just adding a little bit more of this taupey shade to the edges here because I made a little boo-boo with my liquid liner and um, I had to take a little Q-tip and fix it. So I just realized that I was missing a little bit of that taupe. And now because I put shadow over the top, I just have to fix and add a little bit more black so that it doesn't look like a weird subdued line or something. I'm going to move on to the under eyes. I'm applying a little bit of primer underneath just so that that concealer can have something to stick to and it can also help with those little fine lines. Thankfully, I've gotten a little bit more sleep, so my dark circles aren't so bad. But nonetheless, I am still going to apply a little bit of concealer here. Got a little too much on that side. Oops. It will. I say a little bit, and then it's a lot. <laughs> uh, such is life. 
Just hear the sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you who. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. camera it looks good and in, in real life it's a little splotchy I'm not I think it's the primer I should have just used my regular primer oh well it is what it is I'm gonna set it with my ready foundation I don't think bare minerals has this anymore I mentioned this in my yearly favorites um, the naughty and nice list and I feel badly because I was talking about this and they have something similar on their website but it's definitely not the same composition. This is mineral foundation in a press format but their powder foundation is talc based. Talc or mica, I know it's talc based and this is not. So I feel badly about saying yeah it's great it's just new packaging when it's a completely different product altogether and it doesn't look like you can find this one anymore. So I am so sorry to those of you who um, were thinking, oh, I can just get that powder foundation and be the same thing. Unfortunately, it's not. I hate when companies do that. It's really sneaky. There's nothing wrong with talc necessarily. I mean, it's a common ingredient found in so many different products, eyeshadows, face powders, etc. Bare Minerals is known for being mineral-based and uh, mica and titanium dioxide things like that are more indicative of being mineral based not talc so yeah I have this silver shadow stick from elf it's actually a dual ended thing they have a black liner on the bottom and then the shadow stick I'm actually going to use this for under the eyes I like that smoky look on the bottom I'm going to lock that in a little bit more with that same taupey gray shade from the top and a, a tapered fluffy brush that's a little bit thinner because I feel like that cream might just crease a little bit so I want to do what I can to prevent that. Um, for the inner tear duct, I'm going to take a little bit of this one on the top, just a little bit here in the tip tear duct because I want just a little bit more brightness there. It's not as bright as I thought it would be. So I'm going to take a highlighter in a minute and do that instead. Now for the fun cheeks. This one is a Hikari blush. This one is called Tango. It's a very bright pink. This one is pigmented. So I'm going to take it really carefully, making sure I don't get too much pigment. And I think I added just a little too much here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to blend a little bit here into the temples too. And into the hairline. This is what you call draping, by the way. If you haven't ever heard that term, you just kind of drape it along your face. What I really like about draping is that it just looks natural. Because for me, anyway, I get pink all the way across my face. Not just on my cheeks or whatever. Okay. Because I feel like I'm wearing just a little too much, I'm taking my foundation brush. And I'm going to soften that up a little bit more with, with that brush. I'm liking this. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks natural. It's a little bit more blush than I usually wear. I don't usually take it down this far. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks very rosy. That's the look I'm going for. Get a little bit on the nose. The tip of the nose. Ooh, it's a little too much. I don't want to look like Rudolph now. <laughs> Sometimes I go a little overboard. Okay, there we go. Okay, now for highlighter. This one's a limited edition one called Lilac Geode. I don't know if you can still get this, but I found it, I think, either at Ulta or I think it was Ulta or Sephora. It's got a little bit of a lilac tone to it, but it's also golden. It's not going to be too cool toned on the face. It's not as lilac as my sweater. It's a little bit more pinky than that, but I think it looks so beautiful. It's going to be so much more flattering on people than just your typical purple because lilac doesn't look good on everybody and it can clash with certain skin tones especially if you have like an olive skin tone. 
I'm going to take a little bit of this into that inner tear duct as well. I feel like I'm going on a sleigh ride. Do you feel like you're going on a sleigh ride together with me? Okay, I had to. I had to. Sorry. I don't really need to go anywhere today, but I think I want to just get out of the house for a little while, especially since it's so beautiful out. I went for a walk yesterday, and it was so nice, but by the time I went on a walk, it was a little dark and it was a little chilly and I thought oh as a treat for taking myself out on a walk I will walk to Starbucks and get myself a coffee well it turns out the Starbucks nearest my house was closed they closed at 4 and I had left at like 4.30 or something and got there closer to 5 so I was kind of bummed I have an eggnog latte here I was trying to make some at home but <laughs> the eggnog I bought was vegan and it's not very good and I can't justify buying any more eggnog when I have the vegan one in my fridge and I just don't like to waste things. So I'm trying to, I think I might just bake like an eggnog bread later using this and just kind of use it in the bread. I don't know, we'll see. Have you done any Christmas baking this year? I have not done a single thing. The only thing I baked was a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving and that was it. So I think I'm going to bake some gingerbread cookies. I've been craving them. They're so delicious. Or instead, I might just go to Costco and pick up their cookie tray. If you celebrate it, I hope you all have a wonderful and fantastic, relaxing, and Merry Christmas. And I will see you on the 26th, which is also known as Boxing Day, in every other place except America, because here in the States, we just call it the day after, th uh, we call it the day after Christmas. We don't call it Boxing Day, because we're weird. Are you ready for giveaway time? I hope so, because this part's always fun for me. I have this giant bag, remember this? So in the spirit of random makeup and randomization, I figured I would do another random lucky dip here. So you won't win the whole bag, but what I want you to do is if you want to enter the giveaway, of course you have to be subscribed. So subscribe and then in the comments below, leave a comment with any five numbers ranging from 1 through 35. I have this whole list of every single product that's in here and whatever numbers you choose will coincide with whatever's in that spreadsheet so I will pick those specific prizes out. For example, so if you pick number 6 and this is number 6 on that list, you'll win this. So that's how it works. So you get 5 items out of this bag and they're randomly selected. There's a ton of things in here. There are palettes, there are face masks, and nail polishes, and mascaras, liners, you name it. It. There's a ton of different things in here and I'm excited for you all to win something. So I'm going to be a little bit more giving. I'm going to say two winners. So two of you will win five things out of this bag. So be sure to leave a comment below with five numbers ranging from 1 through 35. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And if you celebrate Christmas, I hope that it's a memorable, special, wonderful, safe and healthy day. And of course, Mary. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and I will see you next time. Merry Christmas. Bye.